Did you know that downloading Linux ISO through Torrent could get you into legal trouble? Depends on your region, of course, but yes. Downloading over an unprotected connection exposes your real IP address, leaving you vulnerable to tracking, data collection, and fines. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how you can torrent safely and anonymously. Let's talk about risks of unprotected torrenting. Wait, that doesn't feel right. So let's get into the specifics of why torrenting without protection can be risky. When you download or share a file through torrent, you're actually joining a peer-to-peer -peer connection network. In this network, your torrent client connects directly with other people, known as peers, who are downloading or sharing the same file. Here's the catch. When you connect to this network, your IP address is visible to every other peer in that pool. This means anyone, including data trackers, can see your IP and match it to the file that you're sharing or downloading. Nowadays, torrent networks are often monitored by agencies and copyright holders who are on the lookout for illegal downloads. And I mean Linux ISOs, of course. These entities can simply log the IP addresses of everyone in the pool and create a list and connect your IP address to the file that you're downloading or sharing. With that information, they can trace the IP back to your ISP or internet service provider who has records of which IPs were used by which customers at a specific times. Or if you're downloading with a virtual machine, let's say AWS EC2 machine, it will be reported to AWS and they will react to it based on their policies. Once they have that information, you're going to receive a notice. In some cases, if the download is copyrighted material, you could face a warning or even a fine if the issue is escalated. These files can be very, very unpleasant and it will cost you hundreds to thousands of dollars in some countries. To avoid this, using a VPN to mask your IP address is essential when you're torrenting as it protects your privacy and prevents your real IP from ever showing up in the peer-to-peer -peer network. If you are not sure about picking a VPN provider, I would highly recommend TechLore VPN Toolkit page. You can compare different VPN providers and choose the one that fits your need. I've been using Deluge for a couple of years now and it's a very good and stable tool. So I've decided to use Deluge for this example. Our next tool is Gluten. Gluten is a VPN client that can connect to WireGuard and OpenVPN, and then you can connect other containers to Gluten network. We will get into that in a second. Gluten supports a big list of VPN providers. You can go with these, or you can choose custom and go with a custom VPN configuration. Before we deploy this stack, let me walk you through the Stalker Compose file. Inside the Stalker Compose, we have two services, Gluten and Deluge. Gluten is our VPN client. It will connect to a VPN server that we will specify here in this environment file. I've linked the provider list here. The next thing that you need to specify is the download directory for the files that you're downloading, and that should be it. In our deploy file, I've added this line to pick up the torrent file and deploy it on this IP address. And before deploying the stacks, I'm going to inject these secrets into my workflow. So I've already prepared the secrets that I want to use. So my VPN service provider, open VPN user and password, I'm going to add it to my GitHub action. So let's do that. Go to the repository, setting, secrets and variables, action, create a new repository secret. Now let's deploy our stack and see the results. And welcome to Deluge. This IP down here is not my IP, which means our setup worked just fine. 
And if I use some IP locator tool, we can see that this IP is in Japan, which I'm certainly not in Japan. But to be even more sure, we can use TorGuard's Check My Torrent IP page. Just right click on this green one, copy link, go to Deluge, add URL and add it. And after you click on add, it will show up right here. As you can see, this IP is matching this IP down here, which is not my IP. And there you have it. With Deluge running behind a VPN protection, you're now torrenting securely. Remember, staying anonymous isn't just about avoiding legal trouble. It's about maintaining your privacy and peace of mind online. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check this video as well. In that video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your home lab and connect to your services with HTTPS while it's not exposed to the internet. Thanks for watching. Until next time.